They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be. He is responsible for creating all of Tesla's models, including the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, as well as the Cybertruck, Semi, and the second generation of the Tesla Roadster. Franz von Holzhausen is a man who works behind the shadows, but his designs have conquered the EV industry. How did he start working with Tesla? And where does he draw inspiration in making Tesla designs? Welcome to the Tesla News Hangout. Today, we will look at Franz von Holzhausen, how he came to join Tesla, where he drew inspiration from, and some of his spectacular designs over the period he has worked with Tesla. Before joining Tesla Motors in 2008, Franz von Holzhausen was well on his way to the top of the automotive design industry. He became a prominent automotive designer after graduating from the Art Center College of Design in the early 1990s. While working for General Motors, he was responsible for developing the Roadster variants of the Pontiac Solstice and the Saturn Sky. He was engaged by Mazda North America to oversee the show, and the concept automobiles that he designed earned a lot of praise. In addition, he became known for being the most influential fashion designer of his time. The Model 3 sedan is Tesla's direct answer to von Holzhausen's decision to join Elon Musk as CEO while the company only sold one car, the original Roadster. The Tesla Model 3 car is the company's first attempt to compete directly in the mainstream market. Von Holzhausen can envision the future as he would like it to be, including stunning autonomous electric vehicles. When Von Holzhausen joined Tesla in 2008, Tesla was almost going out of business completely. Von Holzhausen's entrance sparked interest in electric cars that were both speedy and appealing, as well as garnered $226 million in an initial public offering IPO, since the company was on the verge of going bankrupt. By 2010, General Motors had successfully completed its first public offering. They had returned to the stock market after receiving a bailout and bankruptcy protection from the federal government during the financial crisis. Other companies that manufacture electric cars showed signs of the strains associated with adopting new technology. Because of the high expenses related to developing new autos, several observers projected that Tesla would go out of business within a few years. However, Musk, an entrepreneur with an eye for design, and Vaughn, an experienced designer, had the same ideals and vision for the future. The commitment made by Tesla as a whole and by Elon Musk, in particular, was the deciding factor for von Holzhausen. He devised a strategy that is straightforward for Tesla to implement. To start, the company had to develop an electric vehicle that was more than just a glorified golf cart to change how the general public views electric vehicles (EVs). Those who were early adopters of and enthusiasts for high-performance, exotic sports automobiles were willing to spend a higher price for such a vehicle. After beginning his employment at Tesla's initial design lab in Hawthorne, California, close to the location of SpaceX's headquarters, it took von Holzhausen around two years to develop a new vehicle design. By the end of the year 2012, each and every Roadster had been produced. As a direct result, Tesla was compelled to start selling a more diverse selection of autos. Customers were more interested in four-door sedans and sport utility vehicles, although driving and looking at a two-seater electric car was thrilling. It took years before von Holzhausen had time to unwind and enjoy himself. More than a century has passed since the beginning of the industry of automobiles. There has been no fresh entry into the market for automotive manufacturers since the 1970s until recently, when Tesla Motors did so. As a consequence, the capacity of a car designer to imagine a new vehicle without being constrained by the precedence of the industry is one of the most difficult to achieve. You'll understand what I mean if you give Ford or Chevrolet a go at designing a new Mustang or Corvette. Von Holzhausen knew that his designs would influence a wide range of future vehicles, including SUVs, sports cars, coupes, and possibly even pickup trucks and vans. The Model S marked Tesla's debut as a legitimate automaker. It is likely that Giorgetto Giugiaro, one of the most essential Italian carmakers of all time, influenced several other designers to try their hand at developing their own high-performance sports vehicles. Von Holzhausen did succeed in becoming the next Giugiaro, although he did not engage in any outrageous actions. Many of Giugiaro's designs did not instantly captivate the viewer's attention. Musk was the one who led Von Holzhausen in the right direction. First principles thinking is a theory that advocates and Tesla CEO Elon Musk have embraced and implemented as a business philosophy. For example, Instead of concentrating on making a vehicle seem the same as another one, you make it appear a little bit different or even better. Von Holzhausen's approach to this theory has been one of efficiency. Making something nice doesn't require a lot of money at all. In a market with a lot of competition, 
The product that sticks out the most is the one with the best appearance. Von Holzhausen had a notion that had the potential to affect not only the design of the Model S car but also the design of the whole Tesla brand as it developed over time. A new standard of design is demonstrated by Model S automobiles. It captures one's attention without being obtrusive in any way. It is a vision of the future that can be understood by anybody. Consequently, it is an excellent illustration of von Holzhausen's more traditional approach at Tesla. Since its inception, the Model S has retained virtually all of its original characteristics. After Tesla removed the phony grille from the front of the vehicle, the company chose to give the vehicle a smooth finish. An electric car does not require a traditional grille since it does not have an internal combustion engine. Since there is no internal combustion engine, there is no need to supply oxygen or cool the vehicle utilizing airflow and a radiator. The inside of a Tesla is uncluttered as the outside of the vehicle itself. A large touchscreen located in the middle of the car's cabin may be used to operate almost all of the vehicle's functions. It is positioned at a modest inclination toward the driver so they may view it more easily. Although it is stunning to look at, it is not always as functional as a vehicle that still has knobs, switches, and buttons but it is of absolutely no consequence. The design team at Tesla concluded that a huge screen was required to improve the company's reputation for technological prowess. There isn't another car on the market with a bigger screen than this one. You can't help but be reminded of Tesla's brand and product line every time you go behind the wheel of one of their vehicles or sit in the passenger seat. The Tesla Model X was introduced in 2013 and was von Holzhausen's second completely unique design for the company. On the other hand, the Model X is a little bit of a mystery. On the one hand, the design language that von Holzhausen is known for was altered to fit the larger SUV form. In comparison, the design and the engineering are both streamlined. This goes against the concept of maximizing efficiency, not getting around that Tesla's Model X was mostly a marketing ploy. The Falcon wing doors had to be rebuilt, rear seat production was moved in-house, and the car suffered recalls shortly after it entered the market. All of these factors contributed to the vehicle's lengthy delay until it was launched in 2015. Whether von Holzhausen broke from the Model X pattern, he established that the vehicle was adaptable enough to work in the most critical category, luxury cars. The Model 3 was von Holzhausen's third project for Tesla after the Model S and the Model X. The Model 3 is a triumph in every conceivable respect. Despite how successfully the Model S design was translated to the Model X, attractiveness is not always diminished with increasing size. It is pretty rare for an industrial designer to develop a physical shape and an overall visual impression that can be associated with the Tesla brand. There is no other car maker, with the notable exception of Porsche, that has consistently done this throughout the years. Von Holzhausen's importance on effectiveness is clear in this aspect of his work. When it comes to the exterior and interior design of the Model 3, Model Y, the Cybertruck, Semi, and the second generation of the Tesla Roadster, the minimalistic approach takes into account a future in which vehicles will no longer require controls that are operated by human drivers. What do you think of von Holzhausen's designs? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Tesla News Hangout, where we talk about Tesla and electric vehicles. While, you are at it, hit the bell, so you never miss any of our videos, as more exciting ones like this are on the way. I'll see you at the next one. Like replacing part, uh, elements of the production system that are not um